we're back now and it's 4.26 p.m. It's still the 12th day of April. So now I went to the counter recorder and I recorded the document. They had me mark out all my account numbers. It's on my credit union account. My school's first. That's where my parents had their interest filed. Because I'm not going to call it money. But when my daddy was born was 1920 and it was money to him because you had United States notes and you had Federal Reserve notes circulating together. But under the Agricultural Adjustment Act, Agricultural Adjustment Act of 1933, they started removing those notes. Oh yeah, that was ruled as unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. I have a whole list of unconstitutional acts, okay? A lot of them. And I went and got the court cases. I've got U.S. versus Gordon. Or Gordon versus U.S., whichever way it is. That was over the Northwest Territory, those patents. I know what the treaties are, too. And the Treaty of Guadalupe Hildago has not been concluded, okay? It has not been concluded. And you took out Article 9, and that was all the Spanish land grants. And I'm going to tell you something. Christopher Columbus came over here. Eric the Red, okay? They're in my family, too. And the Romans were here, too. The Mormons have shown that. So everybody in the religions have their part. God wants to include everybody. You've all been loyal and faithful. The biggest problem is is that God does not want his people donating counterfeit. So I took that to the lady at the power company and March took that one to her. She insisted on it paid in Federal Reserve notes because they don't have, see, if I use it as credit, I already have that set up with my credit union. Okay, they already have the act. It was already approved by their legal department. Okay, that's how I do things. I get the okay of their attorney because I study law. I use the law. I don't use hearsay or somebody's policy or somebody's little rules. I'm not subject to that. I'm subject to God's laws. That's number one. Number one. God's laws. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not covet. I have them on this little bracelet here. My friend. She's a holy person. People in this town are holy people and don't know it. The sheriff knows. And the generals know. And they know I'm here. They can't do it for themselves. Because they can't grant any titles of nobility. Because God's the only one that can grant that. And that comes down through the bloodline. And I have my pedigree. And I have plenty of it that can be verified. Anybody can look it up. Well, they've made a lot of things private now. Because I am entitled to financial privacy. And the driver's license is fraud, too, under the Gas and Oil Royalty Management Act of 1982. See, Congress took back control and made it a gold subscription in 1976 when they terminated the war powers. I fall under all the savings provisions 
because one of the things that was saved and could not be altered was the act of February 25th, 1862. So the $1 has a slander title on there, because dollar, D-A-L-L-E-R, that was the original. I'll do a little history on it. I call it history of the yin yang. Oriental people are tired of waiting too. You don't want to include them in anything. See, God validates all of the religions because those people are true of heart. They give from their heart. They give from their heart. They take care of their families first. You don't, you don't care about your family. You don't care about throwing people out on the street. You don't care that the sheriff goes and tacks up a piece of paper on somebody's door and tells them they have to get out because they're not going to give you a trillion to one on a federal reserve note because we got somebody that's claimed that. It's going to be on your desk, guys. you got a lot of looking to do, okay? Well, I'm gonna get you really informed because I'm not gonna put up with it anymore and I'm not gonna let you make my holy people here that have taken an oath. I'm not gonna let you make them out to be a fraud. No. It's over. The game is over. It's over. I got games in my daddy's book too. And my partner, see, a contract. You don't have to have a marriage vow with somebody to be connected to them. A contract with another person is just like a marriage license. And I have a partner that is sitting, his name is Rome. He's sitting in prison in Ely. And I'm going to show you the difference between the sheriff's oath. Now, this one I had up in the window. Some of the deputies have seen it. This has a freedom of religion. Silver coin. They came from California. And came to me through another holy man. Who happens to be Jewish. But he was born and is from the same area as where my grandmother, Oscar, was born. Found the lack in Wisconsin. Now, on here, this is the oath of office of Dan Watts. He's in White Pine County. Now that's the heart of the Ruby Valley Treaty. Okay, there were five treaties. They were contracted, okay, during Lincoln's time. Only they left the amount blank, but it had to be paid in specie, and it wasn't selling any land. No, it was a lease, a 20-year lease for mining, the railroads, telegraph, settlements. Because, see, the natives weren't, that you weren't nice either. Okay, so it's both sides. Now, I have natives that are in my family. One of my sisters married a Cherokee. Okay? He was born on the reservation. My grandpa McKee was born in Brookings, Brookings County, South Dakota. Well, right near wounded knee, okay? I'm not condoning the violence or the murdering or the killing. I'm sick and tired of you murdering my women and my children and my men because of your fraud. Now this one, this oath, Happens to be witnessed in front of a district court judge, Dan Pappas. Okay? 
Now this is Dan Watts. So we got two Dans. Now, is her name just Dan or is it part of Daniel? See? Because there's something else going on with your language. Now Bob Stark got this for me. Bob Stark and I did a lot of research, a lot of documents, found out a lot of information on Nevada and Utah and, and the treaties. Chief Joseph, his mother's the Joseph. And his mother's name is Lillian and so is my mother. And I have Starks in my daddy's book and I have my Queens in my daddy's book and I have McDaniels in my daddy's book and the warden at the prison in Ely happens to be a McDaniel. And my partner already beat him once. But the reason nobody's getting any writs of habeas corpus relief is because there's no gold and silver in circulation. You haven't gotten to Article 1, Section 10. And I'm taking it back to the Magna Charta. I'll take it back all the way to the Ten Commandments. But the Magna Charta, and that's what it's called, they were charting a course. 22 out of the 25 barons are my great 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 granddaddies. Yeah. And you've all whittled it down to three clauses. No. They mainly wanted to protect the widows. And they didn't want the interest going to any Jews. Now, the Jews have suffered and they have sacrificed themselves over and over and over for making that golden calf. But see, Moses didn't recognize that what they were doing was prophetic as well. And Moses didn't recognize either that the Egyptians took them into the family and taught them everything. See, that's a picture. You bring people into the family and you teach them everything, then they want to go and go off their own way and call you a fraud. Make you pay. That's why you've been Egypt. You've been gypped, honey. Because you didn't realize the gift. I'm the gift. Jesus was a gift. You crucified him. And you've been crucifying him every single day on the front lines. You crucify him every time you open your mouth. Well, my holy men are the sheriffs, and the deputies, and the military. Now, my sheriff does not have a deputy. He does. He has deputies. But there's nothing on his his old fathers. Well, after the last time that I went to the ATM machine, to the Wells Fargo account, pulled out the 200 Federal Reserve notes, I had to look at them. I wrote them all down to sign my name on every single one of them. She was all happy and smiling because she thought she could make me do whatever she wants. I'm going to tell you, she's violating so many laws. She could be locked up for a long time in all her cohorts. But I'm going to overlook that. Because I like to have peaceful solutions. And... Part of it is the Federal Reserve's got some penalties too, see, on the IRS. But you don't realize there's penalties in the Legal Tender Act for altering. Altering. There's $10,000 penalties and there's prison sentences too. And I'm about ready to make everything valid. that you're going to have an opportunity to come back to God. You're going to have an opportunity to repent so you can be redeemed. This is the real meaning of redemption. God doesn't want Federal Reserve notes. He doesn't want 
your fraud. Gold and silver. Because the churches have been a main place for people. And the founding fathers created the United States of America to be holy ground. They made their courts and the Congress the holy places. But you've made them in the fraud. Because there's 93% of you that have a monkey gene. I know, I did the research on it. The Darwin was partly right. Nobody really understood what he was trying to express. You only take bits and pieces out of somebody and then you get your newspapers and you get everybody all worked up over your misinterpretation of somebody else's works. Bible said not to add to it, Revelation. King James Version, see James is in the family. Edward Whitman presented his thesis. Just like Martin Luther tacked it up on the door because he saw the fraud that people didn't know. Let them decide for themselves. Okay? This has all been part of our spiritual development here, but now that's come to a close. Because you should know better. You know what's right and wrong. Now I have to find my real family because my bloodline family doesn't care about the Constitution. They call it an archaic document. No, all they care about is the Federal Reserve note. I've been telling them for years it's fraud. I didn't know the whole truth of it, though. And they don't believe me. They think I'm just lazy. I do not work all day long. I read. The Lord has me do things. I follow what the Lord tells me to do. I don't care what you say. Because, see, I've got to do what the Lord tells me. Because I'm here to do some work that you don't know about and you're incapable of comprehending. Okay? Now that part is not going to my deputies because my deputies, I finally got completely fed up. The last time I went because I had Anna's document with me. You know, Anna spent her last hundred and say coming out of her account because she's got it set up it's her signature card it's called choice of law under the uniform commercial code 4507 choice of law if you don't choose they choose for you well my choice of law is article 1 section 10 and I have a probate case here on my second husband who owed me child support back child support and I got cheated out of a lot of things I want it back I want it back and I'm doing this for my people that have taken an oath and they're crying out right now you're all crying out because you want to keep and bear arms you don't have a constitution don't you understand My sheriffs, my officers, my people in uniform that take an oath, my lady at the post office. See, even when you look at this, it doesn't compute in your head. So, please know. Because, see, they're, they're of the empaths. They go by the gut feeling. They have naturally gravitated to be law abiding officers because they want to see that justice is done okay the judges everybody's in the right place 
including the one sitting in the White House who was not eligible to do anything but give speeches of what other people tell him to say. And he's a nervous wreck. And Michelle can't get him to quit smoking. And I know why he smokes. I smoke too. Lord already told me not to worry about that. Because when everything is exactly the way the Lord wants it, I will have no desire to smoke. And Obama won't either. Because see, he has now willingly sacrificed himself. But we're not going to... We're not going to... People have to do the right thing. It's up to them. I'm only pointing things out. It's not eligible for the office. And he's like everybody else. You're not eligible either. Because you haven't read the Constitution. You don't understand it. You don't know what it means. States were thankful to Almighty God. They weren't thankful to a Federal Reserve note. Okay. So my ancestors pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honors. And you're slandering their name. And I have George Washington Wilkes. I have George Washington's in the book. See, this, when you take on that name, there's a responsibility that goes with that name. Because you're not the only one to use it. Okay. You have to take responsibility for your actions. Because we're not going to have any more killing. We're not going to have any more death. Now, there's going to be a transition period. Now, the reason all these regulations keep going more and more and more and more and more to where now they probably want to know how many squares of toilet paper you use is because you are ignoring God's laws. Oh, you think you're a good person because you go to church. Because you give them. They don't reserve out. You make a contribution. You think you're a good person. God doesn't want your counterfeit anymore. No more. You had everybody fighting all your wars. Now, the United States went around, straightened everybody out. And there's bases all over, basically. Because nobody else, they were like Rome. They went out, fought all the wars, built the buildings, put in the aqueducts, built everything, provided all that. As far as the power goes, that's under the Tennessee Valley Authority. See, the president, Roosevelt, took control over everything. He took control. He was married to his first cousin. Yeah. A lot of people were. Because they wanted to keep it in the bloodline. I have a lot of first cousin marriages too. Farther back in the web. But when you're in the same family, that's those are the first people that you socialize with are your family and your cousins. Because they're not, they don't live directly in your house. You have fun playing with your cousins. And you fall in love with your cousins sometimes. You know, I know all my cousins fell in love with me. Most of them. Oh no. I love everybody. I couldn't be with just one man. No way. Because there's only one man for me and that's Jesus. That's it. As I looked all my life, I find a way like my daddy. Because my, my parents were perfect, both of them. My daddy just had a little bit of the prejudice part left over from his parents, but only because he didn't want me to marry outside the bloodline. But it wasn't that he didn't include everybody, because some of our best friends were very dark tanned. In fact, those were the most fun churches. I liked it because there's more spirit in the dark churches. A lot more. But I love going to all the churches because my parents took me to different church because they wanted us to see how everybody practices. 
and then they would tell us. They didn't really point fingers. They would give us insight on what they felt and they thought. And they thought my fault because I ran away from home. I ran away from home because I didn't want to get hit with my daddy's belt. And not that my daddy was a child abuser. No, he just didn't like anybody challenging his authority. And unfortunately, I challenged everybody's authority, especially when I got to a certain age. But see, I didn't realize how much pain I caused my parents. Because they worried about me, they prayed about me, they, they blamed themselves. They did. They blamed themselves, and they always felt I'd never be straightened out until I came back home. Well, I did go back home, but I always came back home. All their friends really liked me because they said I was a feisty one, because I was one just, I don't take no for an answer, number one. Okay, because I know being in sales that no does not mean no. It means not now. It's a week yet. But there are some no's that are meant to be said. And so the last time I went over to that power company, Hannah gave her last hundred. She's living in a motor home. Has nowhere to go. Working this job is nothing but slave trade. But see, she doesn't understand. Because she's still filling out an income tax return. Because you pledge one dollar. You claim that you have a liability for one dollar. One Federal Reserve note. And you're claiming to be involved in counterfeit. Well, my grandpa. World War One. I never bought anything because he saw everybody lose their homes and their houses and their farms all because your paper. All because your paper. So my grandpa was a good man. He drafted him. He made a holy man go to war. I don't think he killed him. I think they had him locked away, which they did a lot of, yeah. Well, some of them were on the front lines. People got killed. They created mustard gas. Well, they can't get rid of that. Oh, they found a way. Oh, they make it into chemotherapy. Yeah, mustarine. Oh, that confirmed by a nuclear pharmacist. Well, I didn't know about that after my mama passed. Yeah. You made me very upset. But I've almost died. I don't know how many times. The last couple of times, my friend always ate my life with food. But I decided, Anna spent her last hundred. Her last hundred. Well, I can't fail her. Bye. I also can't be a liar.